Hello everyone, Skids here and today we're gonna take a look at what I think are top 20 Fallout New Vegas mods of all time. Now I decided to make this video mainly because Fallout 4 is just around the corner and I thought it was about time I shared this list with you. Now as always this is my personal list and if you disagree with it or if you have any other suggestions feel free to post them down below in the comments. And now let's get to it. Coming up at place number 20, we have War Zones by My Good Eye. Now this mod adds a bunch of War Zones where you can join epic battles between different factions like NCR, Legion, Vipers, Ghouls and so on. Now this mod is mainly for people who thought that Wasteland was empty and they never had the feeling that there was a war going on between different factions. Now with these War Zones you can meet tons of new NPCs, there are a lot of new weapons and boss battles included as well. And the great thing is that most of these battlefields are located outside of map and you can join them anytime you want. Now these battles are pretty damn intense and if you don't have a good computer I would not really recommend this mod because like I said there are hundreds of NPCs added with this mod and the skirmishes are really crazy and that is also one of the main reasons why I enjoy them. I mean in vanilla New Vegas you can't really join many fights however with this mod that is changed. In this video I only showed you one of the locations of war zones which is the Bardstow that is a town located outside of Mojave outpost but like I said there are other different battlefields as well that include different factions and they of course also have a different atmosphere and visuals. Now with the newest version of the mod there are also adjustable spawns so even if your computer is not that amazing you can still kinda enjoy war zones but you of course can't have as many NPCs battling as the Morator originally intended. So yeah if you're one of those guys that was not satisfied with the amount of battles you could join in vanilla game just like me then this mod is definitely for you. Place number 19 goes to Weapon Animation Replacers by Joe Fox 82 Personally, I was never satisfied with the vanilla animations and I thought they'd look kinda weird and clunky and that's why I was really happy to find out that mod like this existed. Now just like the name says, this mod replaces vanilla animations with a brand new one. They can be mainly seen in third person and I personally think that they look really amazing. Now there are different animations for walking, running, crouching and sneaking and there are of course animations included for most of the weapons like pistols or rifles. And that is basically all I gotta say about this mod. Like I said it replaces most of the animations that you can see in third person and I have to say that they look a lot better than the vanilla ones and therefore I definitely recommend it. Next up we have New Vegas Enhanced Camera by Logic Dragon. This mod was one of the most if not the most endorsed mod in 2014 and I think that it deserves all of the attention. Now as you may have noticed in vanilla game whenever you look down you couldn't see your legs or your hands. I mean it basically looked like you were floating in the air and that is something that this mod fixes. From now on whenever you look down you can see your character's legs moving as well as rest of their body and even if you're holding a weapon the position of your body changes as well. Now other than this this mod also includes another great feature and that is the animations in first person. In vanilla game whenever you try to sit or stand down or you get knocked out your character was turned into third person. With this mod however all of these animations can be used in first person as well and I personally think it looks really cool. And my main reason for putting this mod in this list is that it is one of the most unique and useful mods out there. I mean the ability to see your body in first person is something even 2015 first person shooters cannot do. And I think it is amazing that we were able to achieve it in Fallout New Vegas. Coming up at place number 17 we have Weapon Mods Expanded VMX by Antistar. Now I think that most of you are familiar with this mod. I mean its Fallout 3 version was an inspiration for the Fallout New Vegas modding system. And this mod was also included in Guinness World Record Gamers Edition. And I personally think that it definitely deserved a spot in that book. Now as you may have guessed from its name, this mod is an expansion on the original weapon modifications. In vanilla game, most of the weapons can only be improved by one modification. With this mod however, uh, almost all of the weapons have three modifications that add different attributes to them and they also change their visuals. Another features of this mod include ability to mod unique weapons, a chance to find the weapon mods in the loot and there are also more weapon mods available to buy from merchants and there are of course tons of other features included that you can find on the mod page. So yeah, I think that this mod is basically a must have. I also included it in my top 10 essential mods list and I think that everyone that mods their fault should definitely have this mod in their load order. Moving on we have Project Brazil by the Project Brazil team. Now this mod has already been featured in my videos a lot and therefore I'm not gonna talk too much about it. 
This mod is basically a new game in Fallout New Vegas engine that includes new lore, new characters, new weapons and also new locations. So far there is only one out of two parts available for it. And in the first part you start off in a vault. Now right at the beginning you can decide if you want to be an athlete or a nerd and this decision basically decides what kind of playthrough you will have. Now the first part is mainly located in a vault where you can meet some new interesting characters, complete a few quests. Most of them can be completed by talking to someone and using a lot of speed checks that include both your special skills and your normal skills, which is one of the features I really enjoyed. After that you can end the prequel and begin the main part of this mod. I personally think that this is one of the best quest mods out there. And when the second part comes out, I think it has the potential to become the best mod that was ever created. And so I think that even the first part is worth a try and I think that you should definitely check it out. I do recommend it. Coming up at place number 15 we have Willow by Lama RCA and Nivea. Now again Willow is one of the masks that almost everyone knows and I don't think I need to explain her very much. Now for those of you that don't know, Willow is one of the best companion masks that is available out there with her own quest and also tons of functions. Now you can find Willow in a tent that is located near Mojave outpost and after you talk to her she will become your companion and you can take on her quest. Now the quest is mainly centered around you becoming friends with Willow and after that you can even take your relationship to the next level. Now like I mentioned she has tons of features. Some of them include for example setting up a campfire that you can use. She will give you a radio that you can use to call her. She will scavenge for stuff and she can find caps and other various items that will be added to a separate container that you can access in her dialogue. You can for example ask her to guard an area and after you improve your relationship with her she will have some additional functions like an ability for you to give her a house marker where you can send her to wait. She will give you gifts and even cook for you if you want. Like I mentioned in the beginning I personally think that Willow is one of the best companions out there and I think that everyone should at least give her a try. I mean she has a nice quest line, she has tons of functions and she doesn't look bad either. So yeah, if you're looking for a good companion then Willow is definitely for you. Next up we have New Vegas Redesigned 3 by Dracomies and VGSN. Now this mod just like the name says tries to redesign tons of characters to make them look a bit more like the game describes them. Now in vanilla game there are tons of times where you can see or read about people that were injured but in game they look totally fine. Now this mod tries to change that and now let me give you a few examples. Now in Nipton you can meet Buckscars who was tortured by a legion and also had his knees smashed in. And in vanilla game he looks completely fine. Now with this mod as you can see he is injured, he has bruises on his face and his knees are indeed smashed in. Now in Nipton you can also find tons of other massacred people that look really horrifying and gruesome. Now another example is Ranger Andy who lives in Novak and had his face injured in a battle with Legion. Now as you can see with this mod it really looks horrifying. I mean he has scars all over his face and you can now really believe what he says. Now there are also tons of other examples that you can either find on mod page or you can see in this video. Now what I really love about this mod is how gruesome and horrifying it makes some characters or corpses look. Now my only small problem with this mod is that it doesn't work with my Rudy EMB and therefore you either have to find a different EMB to use with this mod or just don't use any EMB at all. But otherwise this is a great mod that makes characters look just like they should and I definitely recommend it. Next up we have Fallout character overhaul by Drumber. Now this mod basically overhauls all of the characters in Fallout New Vegas. Now I have been using this mod ever since it came out and I personally cannot even imagine my game without it. It is really hard to look on vanilla faces because when I compare them to Drumber ones they really look horrible. So yeah like I said in the beginning this mod is a complete overhaul of all Fallout New Vegas faces and it also adds own unique head meshes to the races and genders which adds more diversity to the characters. Ghouls have also been reworked, they now have new meshes and there are also six unique ghoul textures for both females and males. Some other features also include different raiders and fiends along with many new eye textures that have been added to the race menu. All hair textures have also been reworked as well and also some of the NPCs now have a custom face textures to make them a bit more unique. Now this mod like I mentioned is an essential mod for me. I mean the new textures and meshes look absolutely amazing and I would definitely recommend this mod to everyone. 
Next up we have an MC's texture pack for New Vegas by Neil MC. Now yet another one of masks that is a must have for almost everyone. Now as you may have guessed, this mod with textures whole wasteland. It changes roads, landscapes, trees, vehicles, buildings, interiors and some other medium to large size objects like toolboxes, Nuka Cola vendor machines, chairs, cupboards and so on. Now great thing about this mod is that there are three versions of it. So even if your computer is not that great, you can still use it by choosing the small version. Now as you can see all of these new textures look absolutely amazing. They are HD, they have a lot of new details on them and I seriously cannot imagine playing my game with vanilla textures again. So if you're looking for a very good graphing enhancement mod, then NMC's texture pack is definitely for you and I think that if you want to improve your game graphically, then this mod should be one of the first ones you download. And finally at place number 11 we have Monster Mod by Darktown1. As you may have guessed from its name, this mod adds tons of new monsters and creatures into New Vegas. Now its main purpose is similar to the Warzones mod we started off with and that is to add more life to Mojave Wasteland. There are tons of new unique monsters included. Now all of these monsters are unique and not just retextured versions of the vanilla monsters. Uh, most of them were either created from scratch or they were inspired by other different games like Stalker for example. And I personally think that some of them looked really amazing, some of them were really scary and some of them were a bit disgusting. But generally I have to say that I like these masters and there is a lot of variety and differences between each one. Another great thing is that all of these masters have their separate logical spawns and therefore you can for example find tarantulas along with ants, a new type of ghouls will be of course at locations where ghouls spawn, robots will be located around Repcon and so on. Overly I really enjoyed this mod. I mean the new creatures were interesting, the new spawns added some life into Mojave Wasteland and I would recommend this mod to anyone who wants some new enemies and challenges in their game. And that's about it for this first video guys, the rest of the top 20 should be uploaded within this week. And yeah guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments, subscribe for more Fallout content and I will see you next time.